here. All right, don't get all worked up. That's a nice new hat you got, Arthur. Karen. We could really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. Yo, Lenny. Hey there. Yes, I'll be able to make you something out of this. Just so you know, Mr. Morgan, I've branched out a little in my crafting abilities. A few new items in my arsenal now. You'll need to bring me the right materials first, Mr. Morgan. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before I can make that. How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? Just let me know if you need me to make you a new one. Okay, I think that's enough for me. You deserve it, Mr. Morgan. Guess we'll see if anyone Mr. notices. Summers. See you later. Okay, then. Good morning. Look out, Trelawney. Trelawney. Okay. Come on, I thought we were friends. No, I'm not playing this game.
When are we eating, Pearson? Believe me, you'll be the first to know.
Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. Time to go, boy. Hey, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. <laughs> All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. 
I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremen's hassling her and Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said... You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. What the hell? What the hell? You think you're... She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front. them. There, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh, you're gonna pay. All of you. They're heading down the hill to the woods. Whoa, nice shot. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. They're getting away. They got another thing coming. Are you going to time up then? You son of a bitch! Uh, 
make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. <laughs> Look at the floor for a bit. What? Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey, boy. You all right, boy? Yeah. Hey, mister. How do you do? Will you get out of the way! <laughs> Okay. Appreciate it. What can I do for you? The uh, guy with the snake bite says I can put something here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. You could see that mansion burn from here. I swear that bitch is strange caught on the wind. I like a baby that night. Too bad so. I swept the floor for an Thank you for your help. Watch yourself. For Christ's Go sake. Out of the darn way. Oh, I'm sorry there. All right. As long as we're done here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
You're leaving me, huh? So. Yeah, we'll leave this then. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Oh, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean yeah. off you. Come All on. Right. And All I'll right. tell you, on. you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's OK. You and for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> OK. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with us. Have a fine day. Let's get... Hey, move! I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No damn manners. Up before I give up. Oh, please leave me alone. Please just stop. Damn. about these runaways off the chain gang oh hello I... what's this you bringing trouble in here or why don't you mind your manners partner or they were just defending themselves take your pick which as to where they are no idea sir well i guess you don't know everything <laughs> so long bye for now
You know, them bad men. Sure. Real unpleasant. Old Wendell White killed a farmer over some wages. White man he was and all. And Samson Black, he shot half the county. They was both gonna swing before they escaped. Fella catches them or earn himself a pile of money. That's uh, so. Sure. Big pile of money.
Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. I told you, fella. This poster's mine. Don't make me tell you again. Let's go, boy. Somebody help me! Cap? Cap? Christ alive! Find out, will you? You taking Christ. liberties, boy? Uh, what now? <laughs> Dirty bastard! Keep still! <laughs> the hell are you doing? So while you're here... There we go. Hey, friend. Hello. How was it in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. But he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well. Yeah. Shit. Uh -oh. Sorry about this, gentlemen, but I need to. Come on, you boys are coming with me. Oh, buddy. Get away from me. Yep. Come on. You stinky son of a bitch! Yep. Here. <sighs> oh, my chest! <laughs> you damn 
bastard. Let me go. Now, now, now. Sinking, crazy bastard. You crazy. Yeah. I can't work on that gang. No, no, please. Come on, mister. Holy. Off me. Off me. You really gonna do me like this? I'm a good man. I am. I You're swear. You're with me. Let me go. Now, let's get you to the jailhouse. You know what they'll do to me? There's you thinking I care about anything other than the price on your head. Cold bastard! Let's see if the sheriff's pleased to see you, eh? I'll, I'll spit in his eye, and I'll spit on you when I get the chance. <laughs> With self-defense. Whatever it was, is your business. Mine's the reward money. Uh, I should have known what you was when I, when I saw you. Now he's got both of us. Wait. We got out together, yep. we'll go back Come together. On. Maybe they'll hang us together, too. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's get here. Wait. No, sir. Let's get. Here. Yep. Get. Wait. Come on. Let's get. Oh, gracious. Yep, yep. Incredible. I. I'm Tommy. Yep, here. Things is bad for old Joe. He don't even have a tail Lord feather almighty. left. I did hear that. Let's get, wait. It ain't too late. Let me go. Got one of those fellers ran off the chain gang. I knew they was round here. Put them in the cell. A pair. Well done, sir. Well done. Put them in the cell for me. You tell them if they send me back to the chain gang, I'll cut up another guard. I'd be long gone if it wasn't for that bastard who brought me here. That's the price for the two escaped convicts. You know, they were all right fellers, so this will weigh heavy on me. But the coins will help. 
You devil! Yep, yep, come on. Yep. Boy, you okay, boy? Way. My sweetheart, cholera, and my leg to a goddamn cannonball. Good morning. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met. Asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so? Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> you don't seem too scared. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs>